pit Rob or dark pit coming out of Kiriflax is going to open up with Rob. Interesting choice. Uh, it seems like he's been getting a little more success, um, at least today with the pit. I know he made his upset over over Razo, or essentially he went pit and, and snuck out game one, got steamrolled game two when he went Rob, and then went dark pit game three and pulled it out. Um, of course, MK Leo has been saying, looks like he's going secondaries tonight with Wolf. I think that this is going to make an interesting matchup because Rob does have the top as well as the laser that would be really good at keeping uh, Wolf a distance here because he's so good at putting on that pressure and getting in your face. Perhaps Rob has the moves to keep him off. Yeah. And that's kind of uh, Rob's go to a lot of the you know quick get out options, down tilt, stuff like that. And then able to play that long range game with all the projectiles. All right, FK Leo going in right now with some really strong neutrals. Just doing regular nears. It's a fast falling, able to get Rob off of his feet. And they're playing back and forth, pretty even coming through. I think one of the things to keep an eye out for going into the match, uh, Kira Fox is going to kind of have to not autopilot his projectile campaign just because the reflector is in play for Wolf. Um, and, uh, but on the flip side, you know, it's, uh, he ran out of fuel. I was about to say, <laughs> on the flip side too, he's got to worry about his fuel management because he's been off stage for a long time. And, before I could even get it out, he's already dying to it. <laughs> right, it's so scary to get back on that edge of the MK Leo. You know he's gonna smash you, you know he's gonna spike you, so you wanna wait for that moment, but just not enough fuel. Oh, he's gonna make his way back to in there. He's just so good at guarding that edge. Yeah. Definitely, you know, the ledge trap specialist, uh, trying to get back on the ledge. There's you know, against MK Leo, I don't wanna be in that position. <laughs> and there's the very, oh, he popped out. Okay, quick air dodge away from that situation. And Kiraflax are already early on the ropes. And wow, what a punish. Yeah, MK Leo's play style is definitely waiting for that moment where you have an opening and just punishing, punishing right off the bat. He's got Kiraflax in all sorts of trouble. Kiraflax, oh, very good down tilt to down smash. But MK Leo kind of firmly back in control. He might even take the stock before. Kira Fox even gets one. Let's go. He's able to make it up to that ledge. Will he be able to jet? That's got to be Siri. You're trying to pull it back up, and you know that those two frame options that that Wolf has, the, you know, the down smash or the forward tilt. It's uh, I would not want to be off stage just in general versus MK. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, can you imagine MK Leo as good he is, as good as he is at ledge trapping, also having all these two frame options from Wolf? I wonder if he's actually like thinking of. Picking up this character and playing him like as a full, true, you know, co-main along with the Lucina and the uh, I. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Wolf is such a strong pick, and right now we have Rob on his last stock here, but making a pretty good lead on this one for Wolf. I already at ninety-two percent. That laser did so much oh damage. Oh my god! I thought he was gonna down him again off stage. Yeah, he got the first one. He's like, I wonder if he's gonna double dip. But being a much more disciplined player than I am, <laughs> he's decided to reset it. And not going in for that grab. Just wants to land one more hit already. Wolf is at 112 percent. Trying to get back, desperately weaving, and he's got to make sure he manages his fuel as well. He's able Ooh. to get back, kind of a whiff down smash. And meanwhile, the percent just keep racking up. There's the four tilt that should kill it. Game one, opening to MK Leo. You know, wow. three strikes and you're out of uh, winter semis. That's the first one on Kiraflex. Um, let's see. He's probably going to switch characters, I'd assume. If, it, it's kind of his go-to thing. If he loses one, he ends up going one of the pits. We'll have to see which arrow that he picks, uh, <laughs> depending on which one. I've been seeing him pick a uh, dark pit tonight. Yeah, he, he was going, he's going regular pit, too. I saw really? the blue arrows with the, you know, the, uh, the curve. Uh, you know, more control on the arrows for pit. Um, different side special knockbacks. Yeah, we see him, Kiraflax right now, really thinking hard about what stage yeah. to go next. It really makes a big influence on the matches. That's interesting. He picked Kalos. So there's been some data mining done on, uh, they did match slips at the last Genesis, and they're kind of looking at patterns by people, like if they pick certain stages or ban certain stages, which ones are kind of related to each other. And one of the nuggets of information that uh, Practical TAS pulled out of it was that people that ban Final Destination also tend to ban Kalos. And I was really? like, Really? That's funny because that's exactly what I do when I play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled out the dark pit right. like we saw earlier. But it's interesting yeah. because he had just lost on Final Destination and he goes immediately to Kalos. It could just be that, you know, Kira Fox feels like Final Destination or the open, you know, very few platform game 
is to his advantage, and he wants to just try something different than FD. Yeah, um, I mean, for Pid, uh, I believe that the open stages is a lot better because we just saw he opened with a really strong combo right. going in there. So perhaps the open field is better for Dark Pit right now. Let's see, and MKLeo putting on the pressure, going in for that grab. Is he going to start a combo? He's just so good at this ledge trapping. But Pit was able to make it back on the stage. Yeah, he, tried to, neutral air. <laughs> he tried to pick him off with a reflector <laughs> at ledge trapping. I mean, man, that's... Uh, that's some next level options. I'm not sure what he, what his idea behind that one was, but he's uh, opening him up, and there's a down smash. Man, that back hit a down smash so powerful. It looks like an even game. It's now right in MK Leo's lead. Oh, and Dark Pit going in for that charge. What a good read there because MK Leo tried to go on the other side, but he was still able to make the hit connect. Almost carried him down the stage with some arrows too. Well, good neutral air. Try to drag him down. Not quite enough. Good plays all around by Kiraflax, just not quite enough to kill the champ. Right, going in for the arrows here, trying to get in some damage just before he makes another approach. Akile waiting for him patiently to go back up, and he was able to finish it off. Yeah, there you go. Brings it back, you know, got the stock that he needed. And let's see if he can make a little bit of run of it. Had opened him up just a little bit. Oh, good spot dodge in that situation. And the tables have been turned, and... Now it's just kind of going back and forth. It's, uh, it's all of a sudden it's even. Yeah, it's, it's suddenly become a game of who can grab who first, right? right? And start off a combo. They're both getting so much mileage off that grab, uh, you know, right on cue. Oh, definitely. Dark Pit is so good at that with his neutral airs. You can just go on, rack up damage, rack up damage until you fall all the way back down. Yeah. Let's see, he's waiting patiently on the edge there, looking for an opportunity to come back up because he knows MKLeo is going to punish him. Got him with another arrow off stage. It's kind of the standard follow-up, throw to arrow. Let's see both of them. And he's got him off stage again. And oh, OK, there's a little side special coming through. Another one, if the first one doesn't kill, try it the second time. Are we going to get it for time three? It's so hard to land <laughs> one of those. You really have to set it up. Because I mean, the lag time afterwards, it's going right. to ask for a punish, right? And there's a back here to kill it out, or to knock out the stock. And MK Leo, with a little bit of a lead, let's see if here Fox. Oh, there's that clutch forward smash, able to pick it up. Oh, Lux, I would say that this is pretty even at this point. Yeah. It's almost zero zero yeah, throughout no, the last stock. Yeah, dead even, and you know, uh, but uh, <laughs> MK Leo had different ideas. He's like, uh, let me get this quick combo coming through. Tried to style a little bit and get some big damage with the down air. Wow. And there's a back air. Twitter combos happening. Wow, oh, and that's not the end of Dark Pit here. He's trying to make him come back, right back on the stage, putting on some damage. Yeah, it's got to be a little frustrating for Kiraflax because he had done so much work. He's able to get him off stage. This is his opportunity. Overcommits just a little bit, and Wolf able to get back. But Kiraflax continuing it with that good down air. Down smash three from Kiraflax. And here we go. Oh, that's an interesting recovery angle. Yeah, luckily he was just able to grab the yeah. ledge there just to hover up just a bit. Ooh, and Wolf with trying to get him off the stage with 159 damage. Will Kirflax be able to recover from the next hit? Let's see, both of them waiting for the other to go back in because they know one wrong move here and it's the end. It's the end for them. And I wish we had the player cans right now because if you saw the look on Kira's face, he would, uh, <laughs> he, he's focused, he's locked in. All right, when it, there it is. A side, there's the third side special. Picks up the kill for it this time. There we go. And it finishes off MK Leo. Wow, what a really good use of the side yeah. special there. And we're looking at 1-1. One, one. MK Leo doesn't even look phased, not even worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably more annoyed. He's like, man, I got to play another game to get through this <laughs> at this point. <laughs> uh, he's probably not that. I'm, I'm sure, you know. It's, wow. Kira Flax is a capable player. Can't take anybody for granted in, uh, in bracket. Well, yeah. Definitely, you know that uh, MKLeo probably definitely enjoys this game when he plays as much as him, even on stream. Yeah. Just like playing with subs all the time, you, you know you're playing this for fun, right? Because you love it. And yeah, let's see what Kira Fox is gonna roll out for characters. He's thinking about it. He did a pretty good job with Dark Pit. I would be surprised if he didn't select him again. Yeah. Fabulous. I actually know it's a change because he went Light Pit last time, Regular Pit, with the Dark Pit skin. Oh really? Oh, because the uh, blue arrows that curve more oh, as a right. Regular Pit. Yeah. But he's switching to Dark Pit this time, so let's you know let's see what kind of uh, situation. So it's gonna be less control on the arrows. The side special is gonna kill 
I guess, horizontally at this point. So I'm not sure what changes he saw. Maybe just trying to keep it mixed up. I just kind of think, you know, I also think that Kira Fox goes the dark pit thing just so players can't really tell or they kind of forget which pit they're dealing with. Oh, yeah, I get that mistake all the time with Samus and Dark Samus. Yeah. Just like regular Samus with dark skin. Right, here we go. And right now we have MK Leo with 55% and gaining, it looks like. Oh, uh, big damage has him in disadvantage. Wolf getting juggled. Wow, like a calculator, those numbers are just going up and up and up. Wow, they almost arrow sniped him and Kira Flax in firm control. Right here, so right, we're looking at MK Leo charging up a side smash but not being able to land it. Yeah, tried to two frame him, not quite in time, a little late. But that forward tilt comes in right on time and wow. Kira Flax in trouble. Kira Flax just, just desperately trying to get back on this platform, but MK Leo's not letting him just play. And he's going in for the grab. Wow, that projectile coming in, just creating enough of an opening for him to get back on the platform. Yeah, very clutch, because, you know, as we've been saying, MK Leo is so proficient at ledge trapping. Uh, maybe a, a questionable side special right there. But yeah, that, that projectile got him back into the game. Give him a shot at it, you know. Sometimes you might want to do a little bit better with the shots, like <laughs> the opportunities you are given than the uh, rogue side special. But, you know, he's one hit away from keeping himself right in it. But MK Leo, again, has other ideas. It kind of seems that way. Every time we say it, they're right in it, MK Leo does a billion damage. Oh, and he, did you see that, Lux? He was trying to go in for that side special again, but it did leave him a little bit of an opening. Oh, there's an arrow snipe. Yeah, at about 170, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see here. So he is on the ledge right now at 88%. Wow, what a really great dodge that was right now. And he's trying to put in as much damage as he can. Yeah, once he gets the wolf at disadvantage, he's got to get as much mileage out of it as possible. It just kind of feels like MK Leo is getting a little, a little more, a little more juice out of all of his combos than Kiraflex is, unfortunately. Oh, definitely, and he went in for that side smash that was able to finish Pit, and now he's on his last stock here. And it is a one for one game, so whoever wins this, oh, it is best out of three, or is it? Oh, so, or a best of five, best right of five. Now, yeah. Whoever wins this will be in firm control coming into the later parts of the set. Very good. So we see Pit going in for that neutral air. All right. And MK Leo doing a really good job with those shields. He just knows exactly when you're going to hit him. Yeah, he's just kind of really taking control of the match and just very, very slowly strangling the life out of Kira Flax for this game. Everywhere that Kira Fox wants to go. Oh, there's a good down special to try to get out of that disadvantage. All right, the reflector's a really good strategy that he's trying to use right now just to get out of those neutral airs that MK Leo is throwing out. The ports are oh. not quite enough, and <laughs> MK Leo a little of the wiser for it. He immediately threw out reflector to deal with the uh, the air up. Right, he learned. He learned from his first time. He's at a billion percent. Anything that Wolf hits with will probably kill at this point. Oh, yeah, Kira Flax <laughs> trying to keep that distance. He's like, don't come near me. I have 162 percent. Right, just trying to desperately get back on that platform. Waiting for his opening. And he did. He was able to make a little opening with the side special there. Oh, but knocked right off there with the projectile, unfortunately. Being so patient, he did a little bit of a shield roll just to get on the other side and put himself back into advantage. Oh, I thought the down arrow was going to kill. Not quite enough. So I lied. Not everything will kill at that point. Right, MK Leo waiting for him to come back up there. Wow, what a really good use of the dodge again. He's playing it. MK Leo's playing it extremely tentative. Kind of uh, curious. He had such a lead, you know, usually so confident. Yeah, not, not not nearly as aggressive as we've seen in his previous right. games. Like he'll go for that that edge guard, and he'll go for that spike, but not so much in this game. Yeah, good, but I am better. But he did take that game right now, so the set is 2-1 at the moment, MK Leo. All right, let's see what change we got here from Kira Flax. He seems to be mixing it up every game. Yeah, that's right. Let's see which stage that they picked this time. We had the Catalyst last time, and they did pick Town and City. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Kira Fox kind of favors those open game, those open matches with the uh, platforms. The Town and City ones will go away on occasion. Kind of a mock FD. Here we go. So he is going in for the dark pit this time. He did really well in the last set. So uh, I'm not surprised he'll be picking that again. Here we go. Dark pit coming out. MK Leo, Kiraflax game four. Who's going to take it? Of course, Kiraflax battling, trying to make it a game five. MK Leo trying to punch his ticket to winner's finals. All right, and Wolf trying to go in for that grab, starting the combo again. Wow, and he was able to use those neutrals to his advantage. But Pit having a really good response back in that conversation. Yeah. He says, I have combos to you. Yeah, and after coming out to an early lead, Kira Fox able to battle back and make it even. Okay, and MK Leo here with 60%. Both of them trying to look for an opening, throwing in those neutrals, but none of them connecting. Yeah, it looks like as a playstyle, Kira Fox is moving over to a walling him out situation. Oh, and he was able to go in for that up smash there. Yeah, very patient by MK Leo, just kind of waiting it out and up smashing out of shield. Kind of the Zachary special at this point. See, oh. And the back hit a down smash, not quite enough. Oh, that'll kill though, and there we go. Kira Fox in the lead here on game four. Yeah, what a good finishing kill move from Dark Fit here. The side special seems to be really useful and working for him in this matchup. And I'm curious, it seems like he's getting a little more aggressive than he was in that stock. Because before he had been playing, just very, you know, patient and walling him out. Let's see if he goes back to that now that he's got his lower percent combos, you know, all the way through. There's a forward tilt. That'll kill. Okay, and both of them having their two stocks right now. The game is 2-1 MK Leo. So we'll see if he gets more aggressive in this stock. He's seen him very defensive in the last couple of ones. And he's going in damage, and he's got MK Leo in a little trouble offstage edge guarding. Oh, let's go. We have MK Leo going in for the grab and starting in that combo, getting him off that platform as soon as he can. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, there goes the lead, just kind of disappearing. Um, Kira Flax just, you know, had such a had such a command on the match, and MK Leo just made it virtually dead even. And now roaring into the lead, four tilts. You cannot touch the stage, Kira Flax. Yeah, MK Leo is dominating the stage, not letting him in an ounce of Kira Flax on this platform. He's trying to make an opening with those projectiles, but we see MK Leo going for the shields and the grab. Will this kill? Not quite, even though he's at 141%. Oh, and he was able to with that side air. Yeah, scatter out his jump, get that back air, knock him out. Kira Flax pausing, just taking a breath, trying to get right back into it. He's on his last block of the set if he's not able to pull it out. Let's see how much damage he can go in with this throw. I know that he's great at sniping in those projectiles. And, but uh, MK Leo saw it right through it, waited for him to overcommit, and then just uh, side specialed right back to the stage. And he's back, you know, doing wolf things, putting on all the damage. And now, yeah, he has Kira Fox red. He picked up a, dis a defensive option in neutral off the landing and just punished that. And all the momentum on MK Leo's side at this point. Well, let's see if he's going to go. And he wasn't able to make it back onto the stage, so we see Kira Flax yeah. going into the fall and getting the set to MK Leo. Yeah, unfortunate air dodge buffer. Maybe buffered it off stage. I'm not sure exactly what ended up happening there. I was kind of curious, but, you know.